What impact should the hope of Jesus coming have in our lives? What should it do for us? First uh, John 3, verse 3. I forgot to turn there. Yeah, yeah. I'm there. Yeah. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. So again, again, it's not a matter of putting a checklist. This is not done by rote effort. We keep underlining this, but that's because so many people have a tainted view of how it works with God. Um, Ephesians 2 verse 8 says you got to feel that you're not earning favor with God. You're not doing this to earn God's love or earn salvation. You're doing it because he's handled it all. He redeems you from every lawless deed. And so you begin to live with him, and it changes everything, and you become more like him. What do you think about this? Uh, you know, some people who, who say, well, you know, we, we, we're sinners. We're, we, it is what it is. When, when God comes, he's going to transform me. And at that point, I'll have love in my heart. At that point, you know, I'll, I'll want to do good things. I'll just wait until God well, comes. Well, I would give that a yes and a no. Because it is absolutely, yes, we are glorified when Jesus comes. The Bible speaks of being justified. That's being forgiven, made legally right with right, God. Right. Then sanctification, we hang out with Jesus and we become more like him over time. Uh, but then glorification, God removes sin forever, temptation forever. So there is a moment when that propensity, you know, the, the, it, it, right. everything changes in the presence of God forever and sin's permanently eliminated. But if you think that you're just going to wait for the finish line and suddenly develop a relationship with Christ, you're fooling yourself. That's right. It doesn't That's right. work quite that way. No, he can put that love in your heart now. He can begin changing you. And again, it's important, Alex, that we don't sort of hang everything on that. I've arrived. Nobody's going to feel they've arrived because the closer you get to Jesus, the less worthy you seem. That's right. That's right. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about your checklist, but you do worry about whether or not you're in a relationship with Christ and hanging on to him, holding his hand, as you say. Uh, so I would give that a yes and a no. You are going to be changed when Jesus comes. There's going to be a radical change, That's but right. the transformation doesn't begin then. You know, I think about the ten virgins uh, as you were talking and, and the fact that all, all ten of them, uh, you know, at, at some point they had they had the Spirit of God. They had that uh, that that oil in their in their in their flask, and and um, eventually, um, e- eventually they run out of oil um, mm. or oil in the lamp. Uh, and some had some extra in their flasks, and 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 others others did not. They waited until the last minute to go and find that oil, and and it didn't work out well no, for them. No, that didn't work out well at all. And I guess I'd underline, too, with everything that Jesus has done for you folks, everything that he's done, why would you wait? Why would you put this down the road? I've got to tell you, I've lived on both sides of that fence, and life with Jesus is radically different and much better. I, as you know, Alex, have not hit sinless perfection. Yes, but yes. But I'll tell you what, I'm not as rotten today as I was yesterday, and I'm, by the grace of God, maybe a little less rotten tomorrow. Life with Jesus is just better all around, and it does change you. It does change you. Yeah, and I'm still on in that Titus verse. I hadn't uh, hadn't moved my Bible, oh. and it, I'm still looking at that, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing. And and I guess the 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 appeal that I that I would make here is it, it is glorious. It is glorious to walk with God. It's it's an incredible blessing. Uh, I, I know my life uh, would not uh, w- would not be as blessed if if I if I wasn't walking with the Lord, uh, doing doing the things that He's asked us to do and. And uh, and being connected to to the Lord is is transformational. 